Shelby, you're the love of my life, best friend, and soulmate. When I look at you, I'm speechless, as I basically am right now. I want to thank your family for bringing me in like one of their own, for trusting me in our relationship over the years. I also want to thank your girls that are behind you today. Thank you for not telling her she is way out of my league. Well, you might have told her, but you didn't sell it hard enough. But most importantly, I want to thank God for bringing us together. He knew what he was doing the whole time. I want to thank you, Shelby Lauren, for being the risk taker. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have chickened out because I wouldn't in a million years thought you would have liked me in high school. I want to thank you for changing my heart forever. I want to thank you for helping me grow closer to God. I want to thank you for all the sacrifices you have made for me over the years. I want to thank you for coming to every game that you possibly could and being the biggest cheerleader. Lastly, thank you for being the best mom to Mia and Chloe. I see these vows not as a promise, but as a privilege. I get to laugh with you, cry with you, care for you and share with you. I get to run with you and walk with you, build with you and live with you. I promise to cherish you until the day we die. I will be your biggest cheerleader and make sure we celebrate every victory no matter how small. I promise in your toughest days, I'll be there to hold you, listen to you or buy you ice cream. I promise I will have eyes for no one else other than you. Most importantly, I promise to grow closer to God, for He made you in His own image. I love you to the moon and back shelves. Here's to forever. Nolan, who would have thought that those two kids in the Starbucks parking lot drinking frappuccinos before softball and baseball practice would be standing here together getting married. But here we are, standing in front of our family and closest friends before God, becoming man and wife. Ever since I was old enough to comprehend what marriage was, I prayed for my future husband and the family we would create together. I prayed that he would love me unconditionally, without incentive and without fear. I prayed that he would love me so well that our children would see what marriage was supposed to look like. And most importantly, I prayed that he would lead me towards Christ. And you know what are all of those things in the You are my best friend, my personal bug killer, my biggest supporter, and my favorite person to be around. Life with you is never boring, but my favorite thing to do with you is nothing at all. I see Jesus every day by the way that you love me. And while right now life together seems flawless, I promise to never set an expectation for our life to be perfect. Because I know there will be hard days, but we will get through them together. I promise to love Jesus first, because I, I love you best when I'm satisfied in Him. I vow to love you with respect and kindness. I vow to trust you to lead our family. I vow to value your opinions, even when I disagree, which is a lot. I vow to be your biggest fan and celebrate with you through every achievement. I vow to support your interest. I vow to be loyal physically and emotionally. I vow to take care of you. I vow to raise our children together, surrounded by love, and showing them every day the infinite love of Jesus. And even when life gets crazy, I vow to always put our relationship first. I pray that we build our life upon Jesus' love, and I pray that our marriage will always be an overflow of Christ's love for us. I will always adore, honor, and encourage you. I choose you. I love you.
first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nolan Milton.